Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercrest, and welcome back to Let's Play Porky Pig's Haunted Holiday. In the last video, we played through Atlantis, which is quite honestly the most memorable level, in my opinion, in this entire game. Abandoned Mines, not so much, because I never really played past Atlantis all that much. I mean, once I beat the game, I never really picked it back up again. And all I know about the abandoned mines was that it was a mine and there are rocks everywhere and things and stuff. So let's just go to the mines. And there's nothing randomized about this level at all. You can just go to the right. There's a big sign saying the abandoned mines. You may see water bounce off the sign. And as soon as you get in here, go right. You'll probably get hit by that rock anyway. Oh, well. Oh, wait! No! Wow! Um... Wow. Okay, I was wrong. In the practice run, these were ropes. In this video, they're chains. So there is something randomized here after all. Also, I'm pretty sure the stuff that's laid around on the stage is randomized as well. I mean, I could be wrong. We'll see. Yeah, everything here around here is randomized. Sometimes the signs will say keep out, other times they'll just have an exclamation mark on them like that. And I wanted that health back game. Why did you do this to me? And then again, I probably more than likely brought that upon myself. But as you can see here, there's no reason to go over here other than a few cupcakes and a heart that you probably will have no net gain of health out of. So everything strewn about is random. You may either get chains or ropes in this stage. And this area is a bit of a maze. What you see here is what you get. Also, these guys, if you wait long enough, they do get out of the way. They just move back and forth on the ceilings and the walls. And I do want to swing over here. Be a little careful as I grab a thing. Watch out for rocks, then, or, or don't, because honestly... The rocks will just come out of nowhere, and the, because the game wants you dead, I guess. Also, there's a heart there, and once again, no net game in health. You may lose a couple of lives here, not gonna lie. If that happens, so be it. You should have more than enough at this point anyway. You, I wouldn't say, exactly say you should have 24 like me, but, you know, you should have plenty of lives. Also, going against the, the arrows can be hazardous to one's health. Sure, you might find things, and you can drop. This is basically the alternate path to where you're supposed to be. But, following the, the arrows can be very hazardous to one's health. If you're not careful. Because you may run into something you may not like. Like that. But because I stayed all the way to the left, that rock never hit me. So therefore, points. Yay. So let's go ahead and follow the arrows again. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get hit if I go this way. Or not. I don't even know how that occurred. That just takes us back and I'm not really sure I want to go in that direction so let's not and say we did it's also thankfully that rock's never gonna come back unless we die or something and I'm surprised it did not hurt me you know what I don't feel like going over there because I have only one heart left if you die at any point you go back to the beginning of the section where you died 
you know what? Just, just, just because of that, I want to try this again. Okay. Let's be careful here. See where this goes. Also, this is not a very long stage at all, and we just got four cakes. We got bonus points. I'm not necessarily sure why we need the bonus points. Please don't hit me. Even better. Wait for that thing to turn around and then go on your merry way. I am smart. And, hey, I made the jump that time. That was cool. Then again, I would have just returned to the beginning of this section in case I did get hit, which is very cool. Also, you'll eventually end up here. Here, you want to go through the wall and try not to run into the blobs. Thankfully, you can walk into the spikes and not get hurt from touching the sides, which is really good, by the way. And there is... near death there. I can't believe I dodged that. Yeah, that they catch you out with the rock there. And by dropping down here, we get even more things that we can do. Come on, go up. And I thought I could walk across all four of those without touching the spikes. I was wrong. Thankfully, we don't go back very far at all. The continue points in this stage in particular are very, very generous. And again, I'm assuming they were going for a younger audience with this game anyway, given that this game was released in 1995 for the Super Nintendo, when, honestly, in my life, in my 8-year-old, 9-year-old world, there were a lot of good games coming for it, and... Didn't really care much for Saturn and PlayStation back then, but I would eventually have both systems. And down here, you want to be careful. You want to get the rocks to fall down without hitting you, obviously. You're going to go... You're just going to... Yeah, you're going to go after I go to the right. Fair enough. All right. Wait on the bat. Okay, wait on the bat. Get on this platform and you just walk off the edge. That way you don't hit the spikes. And you, wanna, you can go to the left right there and not have to worry about that at all. And we should be nearing the end of this. Now, thankfully, the rocks that I am triggering, they are just going to fall down and crumble, which is good. Now, here you want to follow the arrows. There are things that you can get... But most of them are just going to lead to rocks of death, obviously. Do not want. And I wish I had more than one hit point for what I'm about to do. Actually, no, we don't want to go that way. Oh, jeez! I had to say, where did the slowdown come from? <laughs> ah, that was fun. But again, continue points, very generous here. There's one in particular that I wanted to go to, and I can't remember what it is for the life of me. I don't think that's... No, that's not it. Okay. Let's just follow the arrows like a person with brain cells. This time. Where's it here? No, it's not here, because that's where we went. I think that's where we went. No, no, wait, no. I yipped again. I yipped again. I have no idea what I'm doing. Like, I do know what I'm doing. I just can't remember all the nooks and crannies that I went to while doing all this. This is what I was thinking of. And as soon as we trigger this, we want to go to the right. Come on, make it, make it, make it, make it, make it. Why couldn't you grab the chains, Porky? Ah, uh, this game. 
I'm not even mad that I'm dying all this much because alternate routes and having plenty of lives. Now, let's go where we're supposed to this time. That's not where we're supposed to go. This up here is where we're supposed to go. All right, let's do this right. And this is where we should be going. I may take the hit. Yeah, I'll just take the hit and get the one up that I just lost trying to get the one up. I, at least I know that that one up is there. And by going up here, we are now at the boss. There are two platforms to the side that you can just land on, or rather jump to and land on. And you can just wait here for Tweety to come out of the water there in his little monster form and just bop him in the head when he shows up. Super easy boss. I told you this level was super short. Then again, I made it longer than it appeared because I kept dying trying to get things and show as much as I could off. I don't even know why I placed that, my controller there on top of two bags of what were supposed to be breakfast biscuits. But... The next level is the Alps. It appears. So, we may be seeing the abominable snowman that wants to hug and pet and cuddle us and call us George. I don't know exactly how he said it. It's been a long time since I watched those old Looney Tunes cartoons. I remember when they were on Nickelodeon back in the 90s when this game came out. That was something. I don't know where they show the old Looney Tunes cartoons on television now, but... Well, we're going to the Alps in the next video, and hopefully you'll see me then. Join me next time where we go to the Alps. Until then, this is Prince Watercress. Take care, stay safe, and thanks for watching!